Hey friends, Russ here again, having more Daisy Lever Gun fun. And what I want to show you is a little project I just got done with. This is a Model 96 wide frame Daisy. Many of these I make a carbine out of, a super carbine, by cutting down the shot tubes and the uh, barrel shrouds. This one I left long. So this is a long rifle version, but let me show you some of the things that I've done on this. First of all, I like to put these metal butt plates, but on this one, I decided to give it a texturing. So I did a hammer, a ball peen hammer texturing to the butt plate. And I think that looks kind of neat, a little different. If you're looking at this buttstock, this is not a custom made buttstock, but it is a custom revised one. I had a um, an old buttstock from a Model 96 that was really, really in bad shape. I mean, it was next to being firewood. So I did some grinding and placing, and I made a cheek piece for it because um, on these particular models, Daisy did not have one with a cheek piece. What they did, they had the one with a curved wrist for the curved lever. They had the Monte Carlo hump on it. But this one also has a cheek piece, which I added on. I swapped out the uh, metal caulking lever to use one of the uh, plastic polypropylene levers on here. Okay. Inside, I had to do a little uh, uh, reconfiguring because the spring was pretty well sacked. Um, the uh, plunger seal was broken. Um, it was all crusty. So I redid the inside of that. Now it's shooting pretty well and uh, it has a lot of impact whenever you're short range uh, shooting. I left the original rear sight in place on this. But this forearm, you say, well, that doesn't look like a 96 form. It isn't. It's totally, totally different. Um, this part from here back to here is a Red Rider forearm. I added a section behind there so that we would have something to fasten to with the screws. I added a um, metal tube up here so that it had something to screw to. And then I added this section right here and painted it the same color as I painted the receiver. This is a front sight which I put on. Now on the 96's they had those long very shallow front sights that went into a hole up here and a hole back here and of course they're always broken off or missing so I created my own sight and because we're using the Model 25 force fed shot tube we no longer had a need for the loading hole so on top what I've done here is I put the uh, steel patch over top of it. Can't put anything on the inside because we need room for the hilt on this to slide past it whenever you're installing it. So this is a full length barrel. It's a full length Model 25 shot tube. But right here we have what I consider the uh, I consider the best part of this whole thing. This is a bayonet. Now, I made this out of a piece of plastic, and this hand grip is from a Model 25 caulking lever. But if you'll notice, you can't see any way that that's held on. You give it a little tug, it comes off. This is a little padded out area on the front of the metal that it was original to the gun and you see this notch in here it's just the right size to fit in there so without having any way of attaching you slide that in and let me try to get it in there it is it stays almost by magic because if you take the gun and pick it up the bayonet stays in place you want it off, you simply give it a little tug, and it comes off. How I made the fasteners for that is inside here, and I left this 
um, unpainted so you can see what goes on. These, I drilled four holes so I could pour plastic down inside and hold the tang that runs through the handle, hold that in place. But on the front and rear holes, I put in two very strong rare earth magnets. Rare earth magnets are stronger than your common refrigerator magnet or the little ones you find in toys these days. So they are pound for pound stronger than a standard magnet that you would be able to get. And when you put that on there, it holds. And it holds itself very well. You can see. So this has a detachable bayonet. And it has its own unique coloring. And it has those other features. Now I haven't put a sling on it, but hey, we can always stick one on there. If I feel like doing that later. So, there you have it. If, uh, if you have any comments, please leave them at the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. And we'll be talking to you soon. Stay safe.